Jenny, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? Jenny, my playa sister, I love you. You are the most amazing doctor I've ever danced with, shirtless in Hoboken, and on playa, and anywhere for that matter. I miss you, and I do love you, and I hope you really know that. So you're like Mike, what are you doing? Well, I'll tell you what I'm doing. I am here in Perth, Australia, with YWAM, Youth with a Mission. I've been a missionary for the past year. Uh, three months of doing medical missions in India and Nepal, and then three months in Taiwan and Hong Kong of doing evangelism and teaching people and building communities and teaching people how to engage and step out of their little bubbles and burst open so they can engage and love and share love and danciness and fun with other people. I've been growing a lot in God too. He's been showing me a lot about my hardness of heart, a lot about my rebellion, a lot about my lack of submission to authority, and that's what he's stressing. He's told me lately, I have to learn how to submit to authority, and if I don't do this, I'm going to die with all these visions he's given me unfulfilled. Um, a couple of visions I'm going to try to lay out are just making a medical school for missionaries, people who want to go and serve the poor and people who need it the most who can't afford it. Um, but kind of like a fast track school where people would go and, and learn how to be in a great community, love God, and go serve other people without seeking or needing to get in a ton of debt. That's one. And then a medical mission TV show in adjacent to that. But these are visions that I've tried on my own and they haven't happened. And God's been showing me it's because of my lack of submission. I need to get community. I need to get people to grow these. I need to grow myself. I need to have other people help me grow. And it's called discipleship. Uh, to grow in a Christian walk and seeking after God instead of just my own desires. So, um, um, he's telling me to stay in Perth, to stay in Australia and YWAM and grow in this community. What that means is I have to get ministry partners. So people to pray for me. So if you could, can you pray for me once a week? And then financial partners to support me um, once a month. And whatever it could be, um, as little as it can, as much as you can, it doesn't matter. It's just a matter of people being engaged enough in my life and caring to help me grow and grow in visions, grow in God, and growing helping people. So I'm asking you to come along um, with me, help be a partner, pray for me, um, support me if you can, you know, pray about it, see, see where you're led, and let me know. And yeah, let's, let's connect in the next couple days. We haven't talked in a while. I haven't gone to Playa last year. I'm not going this year. Maybe the next year. I don't know. I miss it. But, you know what, there's a whole other world out there, and there's a, it's fun on Playa, it's amazing. But, you know, it's also super fun to go to a refugee camp and help people there. And who knows where I'll be in the next few months. Alright, sister, love you, get back to me, and let's talk soon. Mm -hmm.